what I'm going to tell you right after this here. I will prove to you immediately afterwards. The French are extremely mistrustful towards one another in a society where there's hardly any trust. And I will prove that to you right now and here while comparing the Frenchies with the Americans and English speaking community in a very actual event. This here is in English about Pavel Filatiev, a Russian pirate paratrooper who deserted Putin's war in the Ukraine because he feels betrayed and lied to by the Russian government and by his own military superiors. And I'll read you some random comments out of the English speaking world. So yeah, the blue beret of the uh, the Russian paratroopers with the uh, the t-shirt, white and blue, blue for the war and white for the new world order. Here's his name, Pavel Filatiev. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Eh? Here's, here says his name again. Is it really him? <laughs> Is it really the same name? So somebody tell me then. Eh? And uh, so here I show you random. Yeah, defective Russian soldier describes life inside Putin's war in the Ukraine from August 26, 2022. Well, you can read this yourself. And you see, this is really random. You know, you know how this works, eh? Sword by. So top comments and here the newest first. So yeah. I I just you know it comes automatically in top comments. You know, so I just leave it like this. I don't I don't change anything, right? So this is American mostly because this is at um the CBS here, yeah, CBS Mornings, uh their YouTube channel. I'm just going to show you the comparison, you know, in the uh mistrustful way in between like um well, how it is here in France. You know, it's getting really horrible actually. So these are mostly Americans and also English. CBS, yes, yeah, American. So here, JM says he's courageous for speaking up against the war and his hierarchy. Hope many more will step out and do the same. Well, I guess the two other replies will be the same. Well done, Pavel Filatev. Let the Russians in Russia hear about your experiences. We wish you good luck and stay safe. Yeah, I love his answer he gave at the end to why he came forward and shared his experiences. That was one brave, honest answer. You know, this is all very positive, very human. Here, defectors from the Russian army are heroes and deserve to be protected, etc. Um, well, this is neither whatever. And, um, Well, the, the next ones are talking about something else. Here, his story mirrors the accounts of many others, especially when they were on military maneuvers and the next in Ukraine, uh, well, etc. So, also positive, you know. Yeah, don't blame him for not revealing his location. I would be afraid he's a very brave coming forward. It's not cowardly to abandon your post and refuse to fight. This man deserves respect for speaking out. And um, pray, prayers for his safety. Soldiers who refuse to fight on war that they think is right are true heroes. 
Well, I, I can I read only very positive, and you know they see him as a hero, and what a hero for telling the truth. Much respect, and um, mad respect to you from the USA for being a real man and telling the God's honest truth in face of re repercussions from your own homeland by uh, AK-47. Oh, really? Nice picture. So this, you see, this is very, very positive. You know, I'm not going to show them all. You can look at it for yourself. This is just random, you know? Yeah, and there are, well, 1,682 comments. Almost 2,000 comments, you know, like in a few days. And I guess they're all positive, you know, and respecting the man. And now I'm going to show you the comparison, uh, the same thing in a uh, on a, Fran a French television uh, channel. And the guy, he um, he's seeking an asylum. Um, well, you guess it, eh? In France. So there he is again, the Russian deserter, Pavel Filatiev. And this is what he did with his uh, Russian passport, saying like, well, Russia is going down the drain. And with all his military papers, there are videos about this. So the English American comments are full of respect for his brave decision. There's friendship and hospitality in abundance, welcoming the Russian deserter to America, as if he were a brother, full of positive words. And now the French comments of the French-speaking world about the very same event, the same Russian deserter, Pavel Filatiev, and at the very same moment and time. Here it is. I'll translate the random comments for you and just see the worlds of difference in behavior. And most of all, the total mistrust and lack of fraternal brotherliness. So here you can see it, Pavel Filatiev. It's written a bit different. Uh, it says paratrooper, and who, who is in France asking an asylum. Uh, I'm not going to translate this because I'll, I'll have my my video lifted. So, so here he is. It's, it's probably a bit later. He already got rid of his uniform. He had his beard grow, and maybe he has his hair grown back. And this is on TF uh, Tele Television Française number one, the French TV number one. And this is LCI and other. Guerre en Ukraine, the war in the Ukraine. So, shall we have a look? Shall we now? So, this is on September the 1st, 2022. So, I can do the same here. Uh, so, just the, the, you know, the random, uh, the, you know, the random comments are coming like, uh, like here and here. I don't know which one I have now. Oh, okay. And so, I mean, the first one's like um, coming up here. So, see the difference. It's a world of difference. Yeah. Du pipo pro propagandiste, ces soldats d'opérette, surtout venant de LCI qui vomit que de fake news. Um, so, this one here, he says, um, people it's um it's a it's a propagandist lie of this op operate soldier you know from um, it's coming from lci the the, the television stuff who we'll just vomit fake news well this is well, it's very negative here and this is very um cynical oh you got a, a russian star on lci and um it's all very negative very negative. Here, 
he's a good comedian, just like his president. So this Russian hero, you know, the, the Americans say he's brave, he's a hero, he's a real human being. The French is, they say he's a comedian, he's a liar, he's a spy. Uh, yeah, this is also cynical and negative, you know, this here too. Uh, very negative. Um, Yeah, here, Leon Boom. Ce soldat russe qui se met en scène n'est qu'un opposant à Poutine, donc soit un socialiste nationaliste, soit un communiste. Il est pathétique, il est pathétique. You know, this, this Russian soldier, you know, in between brackets, like here, or the meaning, you know, it's, it's probably not even a Russian soldier, it's all a lie. It's just acting, il, qui se met en scène. And um, uh, well, he's, here they say sale traître, dirty traitor. <laughs> uh, this is very cynical. The uh, le futur philosophe donne lui un passeport français et une place à la à la télé à la télé. So this is the, the future philosopher, the soldier. Give him give him a French passport and a place on on TV. It's all very, very negative. No respect at all, you know. Uh, pour le moment, il y a une, un soldat. Donc, quelques mois, il y en a d'autres. C'est chacun un début. For the moment, there's only one soldier. In a couple of months, there will be others. This is just the beginning. Uh, moi, j'en merde l'Ukraine. Um, I, I shit on the Ukraine. Oh, horrible. Euh, déjà le chronique, chroniqueur faux, expion du KGB, est à peine crédible. You know, the, uh, he's an ex-spy of the KGB and he's not credible at all. He's not, he's not faithful at all. He's a liar, you know. Yeah. N'est pas un militaire russe, c'est un agent ce mec. He's not a, a Russian military, he's an agent, a secret agent. Uh, the mem the um, memoirs d'un traître, the um, memories of a of a, uh, a a traitor, saying he's a traitor. It's no respect, you know. It's all like, as I say, as I just told you. Now I'm giving you the proof. The Frenchies are incredible, mistrustful, you know. Uh, à vendre son âme au diable, son enfer le suivra dans l'au-delà. Sell your soul to the devil and, you know, the, uh, the hell will follow in the afterlife. Well, this is a bit hard to read. And, uh, well, here's once, oh, something nice here. Thank you for the documentary. Only one, only one, you know. Yes, ces journalistes sont lamentables, the horrible reporters. And uh, c'est un montage mensongère, ça finira mal. Aucun crédibilité. Uh, it's just a um, lying, um, uh, this, this is a lying setup, it will end bad. No credibility here, yeah? it's, it's all a lie. Um, pure propaganda. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et well, well, I mean, they think that he's a he's a spy. Uh, LCE, they're only liars and. Um, Le roi de, de la salade, the, uh, the kings of, of, of lies, you know, and band des escrocs. They, um, you know, they're all liars and, and criminals. Escrocs are criminals. Well, this is, um, you see the difference, eh? Between America and France. 
And um, so I'm telling you this because something not very nice happened to me recently. And I, I just want to put it all in perspective, you know. So, um, well, Pavel Filatiev, you have no idea yet where you landed with your parachute. Eh? You know, you know, landing in Normandy or, you know, that's where you landed. You have no idea, mate. By the way, this is the main reason I don't want to make any more French videos as it's not really favorable for my work mood to get all these unthankful, mistrustful, thrash and trash comments after all the invested time and energy for a better world because and you can read with me here what is written here in the picture because there comes a time in life when you realize that the trash can is full just as in the case of this brave Russian soldier wishing justice and honesty in his Ruski motherland and then just get a lot of thrash and trash, mail and mistrust in the country where he was hoping to get a political asylum. And this here was written by a Frenchie. A nobleman, because there's the de word, like von, in German. And it says, the most mistrustful are often the greatest dupes. And I will come back to this later and explain you what it really means. So here's the guy. Jean-François Paul de Gondi, who just said that, what I just read for you and what I'm going to explain later. First of all, here, Jean-François Paul de Gondi, Cardinal de Retz, he was a cardinal, a French churchman, the Florentine banking and noble Gondi family, uh, had been introduced into France by uh, Catherine de Medici. A very powerful family. You, know. and you can see, you know, saying these sort of things, what he did, you know, very intelligent man, because this is Pharaoh. And he was the third son in his family. You can read it with me here. And according to Taimon de Rio, was made a Knight of Malta. You can see the Swiss cross on the very day of his birth, automatically. You know. And he was a cardinal, and this is what I've been telling you so many times, that Catholicism is made by and is together with the feudal aristocracy, whereas Protestantism is by the Knights Templars and is part of the Republic. And at the end, it's all the same. It all comes from Pharaoh, and it all comes you know, from the aristocracy. So people, do not lose your time, you know, in this, you know, religious battle between Protestants and Catholics, because it's not for us. It's their battle, you know. It's not for us, the people, because at the head of the Protestant church and all this, it's the aristocracy, and at the head of the, the Catholicism, it's also the aristocracy, so don't, so don't lose your time with all that. You know, just stop it, you know, but the Jesuits and all this, just a waste of time. Just the, just the other sidetrack about the jaywalkers telling that they, they are the, you know, they're just a scapegoat, you know, it's just a sidetrack, all this, you know. It's all by the aristocracy anyway, which, which, I, which you can see here, yeah. Now, how come the Frenchies have become so mistrustful to everyone. They must have had many bad experiences themselves 
of being cheated to, being lied to, being stolen, or even worse. I'll explain it to you why they've become like this. Through a nasty experience I just had with them, I got ripped off in a sly manner in a so called cyber crime scam here in France. Finally, after eight years homelessness, and a rotten sleeping bag, literally rotting away. I managed, with the help of some of you good people, to order some new outdoor gear, and ordered a set of Austrian high-quality Corinthia military sleeping bags that can be fitted together into one. When it gets really cold, it says Corinthia from Austria. We ordered the sleeping bags at the French Natura Bay Internet Shopping Services. Here, Carinthia from Austria, Natura Bay from France. But instead of sending me for what we paid for, 100 euros, so this one here, the Corinthia Tropen, they sent me some cheap Italian Ferino copy made in China of the Austrian sleeping bag. And <clears throat> so here you can see the picture here. And I film it later with my Sony camera, which I insert in this video. So, Corinthia, I'm going to send this video to Corinthia and to the authorities so they can really compare that this is the one I got and the other one I ordered and paid for. You can see here the um, for the mosquitoes here, I, I filmed that for you. And the inside here. It really is a copy of the uh, of the Austrian tropen bag, and here you can see the zipper, which is YKK. You can even see it here. And um, here it says, I think Farino, probably. Well, it didn't even say in my bag which which they send me. It says Natura Bay, Natura Bay. Well, Natura fraud, I'd say. Now as they fear their little fraud counterfeit business is going to surface because of homie Ross bothering them. They've put a sign vendu, which you can see here, in French meaning sold over the original Corinthia sleeping bag I was supposed to get and also paid for. Here it says Corinthia Tropen 200 from Naturo Natura Bay. Yeah, bye bye sleeping bag, Omi Ross. Unfortunately, I was too honest with them, telling them that I was going to take legal actions, merely hoping for their honesty and giving them a last chance, as any decent person would do, in order for them to abandon their cyber scam and deliberate theft. And then using my information concerning my next proceedings, they just blocked my account with them. So deliberately wiping all the fingerprints of their organized cybercrime, which is just a reflex of an organized criminal mind who has been in the game much longer than any unsuspecting client. Hey, Frenchie. So here's the Natura Bay. This is their membership where all the transactions 
we're supposed in it. I mean, I've got a password and a um, uh, what was the name of it? The um, there are login code. So this was the password here. There's the login code. So you do here connect, and then you get this. And I I punched it already in. Look, I connect here, and there's nothing coming. Uh, I mean, Homie Ross was stupid to um, to give him a last chance. So here is what it looks like before I do the login here. It says uh, non d'utilisateur. And here the password mode pass. And then uh, nothing happened. I, uh, well, they've been much longer in the... Uh, in the business of crime and cybercrime than any unsuspecting uh, clients. I, um, I foresaw this a little bit too late. I mean, uh, this is not my world anyway. So the only proofs I have now is this bank transaction with the French Natura by scammers. The counterfeit sleeping bag itself with the box and my list of ordered products with them. I myself am more in the business of brotherly help amongst the people of this earth instead of this kind of wrapping my head around these kind of low life liar minds cheating on their fellow human beings. The funny thing is that in the mail I've just shown you before, the French Natura Buy are just an intermediary between the buyer and the seller, which they are writing to me, thus shoving their responsibility away. But yet they received 440 euros and 27 cents at their own Natura Buy account. Just another one of their lies and another one of their scams, which comes so naturally with these kind of low lives. Here you can see it Natura Buy, Paris, or whatever. And this is the amount, you know, it's for my survival, you know, I'm I'm going to be freezing again. And, you know, and I can't show you the whole banking stuff because it's not my banking account. It's somebody, who, a fan of my videos who helped me with this. And I have to be um, discreet and don't show too much of his name. And, and you know, so... Wow, what can I do? I not much more. Put it on YouTube, who we'll probably deleted and well, end of story. After many mails, the French Natura by scammers refused to take any responsibility, moving their responsibility entirely on the other company without a name, who had sent me the cheap Chinese counterfeit copy of the Austrian quality product. Look here, this is one of their many mails here. This is their email address, uh, which is open, so don't bother me because of that, YouTube. It's um, it's their official email, you can find it everywhere. This is of course a pseudonym here, the name here. This was the date, I, I got heaps of mails. This is three days ago on September the 5th, 2022. And here th this is what they write here. Bonjour Monsieur Ross, Natura Baia est un site de petite annonce, nous ne sommes pas vendeurs. Now wait a minute, they say they're not sellers. Well, I mean, they are on the internet with prices and all their product there, and then they're not, they're not sellers. This is really shady, you know. Nous ne pouvons pas vous faire un échange de produits car nous n'en avons pas, 
non, n'avons pas. We don't have any products, so we can't even exchange your, your, your products, the thing you got. Nous ne sommes pas un magasin, they are not a shop, et nous, non, nous n'avons pas de marchandises, we don't even have any products. Nous sommes un intermédiaire, une place de marché vous permettant de trouver un acheteur ou un vendeur. We are an intermediary and we find you a place where you can buy a, a buyer or a seller. This is real shady. They, you know, they don't want to take any responsibility. Now, all of a sudden, I mean, the money went to them, eh? I, I can show you that. And now they're not sellers. Well, how come the money goes to them if they're not sellers? What's going on here? They're, they're just writing. Well, they're, they're nice people. They're just here to help, you know, find you a buyer or a seller. Very shady. This is this is cyber c- crime, people. It's count this the counterfeit industry, which is a crime on itself. And uh, yeah, lots of males. Just, you know, I, 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 it's not even worth. So I'm 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 telling them I'm I'm going to take um, measures of um, corrective. Um, judicial measures you know and uh, uh, because i have no more patience with your cyber criminals and this i shouldn't have done because um they take it seriously and they even took took off the product of their now of their of their you know of their offers um so the uh, the guy with that were you know it says his name is Christophe Gilles from Orléans. This is apparently uh, the guy without a company um, uh, who sent me the the, um, the frauded product, the cybercrime counterfeit product. You know, no names, there's nothing, you know, no responsibility. This is real shady. This is real cyber crime you know and it, it's wrecking the european uh, economy you know these sort of people right so this is why it's important and I, I, I give you some more information about it so watch this video through to the end so i found the company without a name you know who's just counterfeiting and stealing from a homeless so this was, they sent this to me uh, September the 1st here, 2022. And um, well, it was the day before, August 31st by Lindsay de Naturo Bay. Oh, I have to show you the email again. It's a bit weird. Oh, there it is. Service client Naturo Bay, point fr. So here's the company. Monsieur Christophe Gilles, uh, 92 Rue Henri Pavard in uh, 45140 Saint Jean de la Ruelle, France. It's even a telephone number, which I doubt it if it's all if, if it even exists. I really doubt it. So I see some more of the. Males after males after males after males, and they take n- no responsibility. You know, trying to talk their way out of it. You know, this is cyber crime. This is um, very bad for the European community. For I mean, for Europe, not the European community. For the European economy. For the Europeans. Look, the uh, the French frauders, they even of uh, Naturo Bay, which looks very much like the um, sort of like the YouTube logo, same colors, Templars colors, of course, the same square where it's inside. Well, this is a square and here there are three letters, the concept of three and four. So I'm fighting against uh, Freemasons here, you know. So they even made a a Chinese, you know, counterfeit copy. They send they are selling for almost the same price as the real 
Corinthia, you know, but inside, you know, there's something else in it, you know, you, you, it won't keep you warm, you know, but it looks exactly the same, you know. And so they call it uh, Sac de Couchage Hiver Marque Ferrino, the Italian, you know, uh, the, the type Defense 4, Defense 4. Well, the D Defense 4 is the most famous Corinthia sleeping bag. The one, you know, uh, it, it, which is for winter, and the one f which I paid for and didn't come was the Tropen 200, which is for summer, and you can put them all together. But even this one, uh, it even says Gore-Tex. Well, there's no Gore-Tex in it. And um, so here you see the Freemason handshake here. It says... Uh, by protection nature by HT en toute confiance, you know, uh, trust us and you know you can buy here, you can trust us. And here uh, hundred percent uh, security when you do a transaction with us, the payment hundred percent secure. Well we all know now this is a lie. It's Freemasonry here. And this th this thing here is the um well, the, the same as the U.S. Air Force, you know, the same logo, you know, the the, the and they use it for the uh, the sun hieroglyph here a lot. You know, th this is the sun hieroglyph, you know, uh, inside the um, instead of the Freemason shake like here, they put the uh, the sun, you know, on all the buildings. Remember, and um, so here it says Natura Bay, and uh, so. You know the um, they're making a lot of money with this scam here, like this, you know, and it's it really is a copy of the um, of the Corinthia, the famous Corinthia sleeping bag. So this is where I'm up against. You know, it says Ferino, just like in the other bag, you know. And here the uh, the zipper it really looks like the. Um, Defense for and it's it's an exact copy. I mean, this is uh, design theft. This is um, only so they can get rich. This is counterfeit stuff. You know, you, know, you must have a second look. You know, to see that this is not a uh, the famous uh, Corinthia defense for. This is counterfeit. You know. So Natura buy, you know, better not buy there. And here the original Corinthia Defense 4, a solid European Austrian product. And you can see it's exactly the same. It's, it's, a, it's an exact copy, but it won't keep you warm, the other one, because it, inside it's not the same. So apparently here it says the best bushcraft sleeping bag, the Corinthia Defense 4. And, and I mean, they literally all say this. Yeah. So because of the scam, Homie Ross will still be freezing his uh, whatever off. And here's the site, you know, uh, www.naturabuy.fr. The FR stands for fraud, of course. And you can see they're trying to sell the Ferino Italian Chinese sleeping bag with I don't know what in the inside for a defense for and the defense for is uh, is um, uh, Corinthia and this is the other one with the uh, with a mos mosquito net inside that I was supposed to get but they uh, Instead of that, they send me this one, the Farino guy, the, the Farino bag. So this is why it is dot .fr, uh, uh, fr. So natural by dot fraud. Anyway, this with all their companies is one of the ways our masters parasite on us. It's called corporatism. While we, the slaves, work in their companies, buy their products only, 
as all the company logos are Freemason, Pharaonic, and in the end, we even pay taxes on the product and even over our wages. Here, read with me. Mussolini defined fascism as the union of state and corporate power because corporatism is the system of the Knights Templars who were the first multinationals in the world, invented the check and invented banking, and there Mussolini of the Nazi Templars was called Il Duce, meaning the Duke, just another pharaoh. He was even living in a castle and married to an, a, a real aristocrat. And here it says, using that definition, can we claim therefore that North America is anything but fascist? Yes, it is. This is the essence of Operation Paperclip. And this is why their business and corporatism is more important than Homie Ross sleeping in the cold because he was ripped off of his Corinthia sleeping bag. And even, and, and watch what Mr. Benito Mussolini, what he really said. This is very important. Fascism should more appropriately be called corporatism because it is a merger of state and corporate power. You read this about 10 times again because this is what we are living today. And even the word Nazi is by the Italians as nazionalismo is written with a Z or Z in American and not with a T as in German because the Italians are the descendants of the inhabitants of ancient Egypt. Pharaoh's people, so to speak, the commoners, whom Pharaoh took with them to Italy to conquer Europe with those Roman genociders of the European tribes, the Roman genociders killing the Celtic tribes and their children, just as they did with the Native Americans, African slavery and the rest of the world. And the only ones who really beat them back were the Germanic tribes. The Germans lost the war, but the Nazis won the war. With all the looted Nazi goods and Nazi gold, they hid in Octogon, Switzerland, to create their Nazi Templar corporatism with. And all nations traded with the whore of Suis, sisters of Isis, Sir Dizis of Switzerland. And this is why in every YouTube video they force you incessantly to watch their publicity, which they literally shove down our throats, because through commerce they parasite on us without working a single day for it. And the name for it all is corporatism by the Nazi Templars. I owe my soul to the company store. 
Go listen to this fantastic song by this man here, Merle Travis. You load 16 tons, and what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. Saint Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. As you all know, I see everything with a larger philosophical and historical mindset as it dawned upon me that exactly these apparently frequent infractions on personal trust have made the French so incredibly mistrustful. Especially in comparison to the Anglo-Saxon Germanic world where trust is being taken far more seriously as an important factor in daily life's fighting spirit. Yeah, I'll read it for you. Trust dies, but mistrust blossoms. And France is a country where the inhabitants are very mistrustful towards their fellow countrymen, towards the other, and towards their neighbours. And I have noticed that the Frenchies are always busy to detect the ultimate proof of dishonesty of others, of friends and acquaintances being almost the main topic of any conversation like a national habit, or a national sport even. And with apparent reasons for this behaviour, like Natural by company, sleeping bag frauds, cheap Chinese copies of expensive European products, an organised counterfeit industry, leading to the downfall of European enterprises. And all this have brought a national mistrust into the hearts of the Frenchies, statistically augmented by the various Naturobi companies. I wonder what the Austrians of the Carinthia will think about it. When they'll hear from me how the Frenchies are counterfeiting their quality product by some Italian Chinese design theft product frauded by the Frenchies in the true sense of globalism and acquired by a stubborn South African. So I give you an example for why there is so little trust among the people here in France. You know, they're always asking like, can I trust this one? Can I trust him? And you know, it just, it's like a national sport somehow. I don't know what's going on here, you know. Always looking for this, you know. And so I ordered two sleeping bags, which I can, which you should be able to put together like for winter times. This is the Carinthia. Uh, here it says the, the real Carinthia bags. They have they have it all. It's a defense fall, and they have it all stitched. Their name on the uh, on the outer bag, and everywhere actually. And for the summer, there was a different company. There's one main company on the internet who's like. Um, selling all the stuff and then they go to different companies providers who send it i don't know if amazon also works like this i have no idea and anyway this is the um the name of the provider here here this one here he has different addresses here i also have another address it's um it's real shady and the guy sent me a sleeping bag for summer this one is for summer 
and this one for wind, winter or, the, or like August. Now you can put them together so you homie Ross could sleep in winter. So for me it's important. But you got this little French businessman who just wants to take off your money. You know, it's, it's fraud. So he found out that there is a very identical sleeping bag, which is in the box here, uh, by a Italian brand, Ferrino, but it's not Corinthia. I ordered and I paid for the Tropen uh, Corinthia, which is, uh, and, and they, they sent me something very, very similar. You really need to have a good look, which I did. So, you know, now I understand why there's such a lack of confidence, you know, in between, like, the people here in France. So, let's have a look at the, at the sleeping bag. I'll show you the difference and the fraud. And you can see it. It looks very, very much the same, but only from the outside. Of course, it's not the same size because it's a different bag, like... But this is missing, you know, Corinthia. And the material is real thin stuff here. And this is really thick here. So you can, you see? It's a different material. You can already hear it. It's very thin, you see? Very thin. This is thick. Very thick. Austrian quality. And there's nowhere it says Corinthia. Nowhere. So this is the French fraud, you see? It's the same, you know, if I go hitchhiking, you know, they all, like, trust the government, they all, you know, they all got Pharaoh's poison here, but they don't trust, you know, your neighbor. This is, well, at least they leave me alone in this country, that's, that's, a, that's the only good thing. It's a good place to live if you want to, you know, be left alone. They call it the exclusion. You know, the kind of many people are kind of proud of it. If you're a homeless, exclusion. They like to force you back inside or something. So you saw it. There's nowhere on it that it is a Corinthia from Austria. Now I'll show you the inside of the um, of the dust bag. And again, here it says um, defense for Corinthia EU. From Austria and um, this is different you know that, that how it holds together um, this is also thicker this is real thin here some Chinese stuff how it holds together it's also the, the the normal stuff like you know it's not Corinthia they're just thieves you know thieves you can see it's empty here. This is the Corinthia for the big one, the autumn one. There it's outside and there's the little one. I can't open them all at the same time here. I've got no place for it. So the real Corinthia, you know, that it's good quality. Here it says, I think it's a province in Austria called Carinthia. It has a car in it for the soul, you know, like a merry car, Canada. Uh, Kabinda everywhere, you know. Pharaonic. You see here, everywhere. They, they, they thought of the last detail, you know, it's really good stuff. And my life is depending on it, you know. And this, these guys that just want to make cheap money, the Frenchies, eh? And the other company, it's called Naturo Bai buy, like to buy something, naturo, like nat nature buy. They don't take any responsibility. I ordered it at their place and also I looked for days, you know, to find these this bag here. And they have a different zipper, high quality. Here it says, here, yeah, something like ZE. Yeah. It's their own brand zipper, you see? And I show you the other one, it has the, the normal YKK, some made in China one. And of course, 
this is a different material and of course what is the most important you know I, I don't really care about the zipper I mean except if I have to go and take a leak you know. yeah well we may laugh about it but it's it's bloody sad because my life is depending on good material you know it just friends likes to make some easy money here so the material inside they have their own material which is really fluffy and it's it's almost like down but you know it can get wet it doesn't really matter it will still you know keep you warm but that is important and that, and that little bugger from Italy of course it doesn't have the Corinthian material you know they, they can't get hold of it yeah so my life is depending on it and so I'm I, I, this is going on for weeks now, you know, I, 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 I mailed them, we telephoned and they just don't want to do anything. So I just put them on YouTube, no choice, eh? Um, and, um, and I'll send it to the police, you know, but they're, they're not going to do anything anyway, you know. Okay, I'll put this one like here. And let's get the little one out. The Italian one. Now I need my two hands, just put this down. So there are the two bags where they go in. Here it says Corinthia. And here it says Ferrino from Italy. Look at that. From 2021. It says here in French. So you see, you can hear it. It's a different material. You know, it's very thin. You can hear this. This is army stuff. Armies have it. Also, Austrian army is having this. I want this, you know. Not, not like Italian underwear, you know. Um, yeah, they, they, in their fraud, they even forgot to take this out, you know. So, they, they, only this. Is how I know it's Farino. I, I didn't even know that they made copies of um, or copies of the. Uh, it's it's a very exact copy, but not that this exact actually. And here, look at the zipper. It's not the Z E or whatever. It's Y K K. You know, this is the normal. That's the other way around. Yeah, it's the normal zipper. See, this is not Corinthia, you know, and it's a very nice, I, I guess all the copies, they're made in China anyway. This one is made in China, and also the, 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 the Corinthia, of course, you know, and this is how they can make an exact copy. So the Chinese make a lot of money on it, the Italians make a lot of money on it, the Frenchies, and who's going to sleep in the cold and, you know, freezing his legs off, Homie Ross will. So I've got no other choice to put it all on YouTube, you know. So even also the mosquito net here, the Corinthia has another color. I think they this is black and they have like uh, Corinthia has um, like green. And this this too, this is also YKK. You know, why? Why do you do this? You know, YKK. Yeah, this is not Corinthia. Corinthia is oh. Corinthia has another, their own brand. What is it? The ZE or whatever. Yeah. Okay, okay. With the zipper here, you can open it up. Yeah, it's, a, it's a copy, you know. And I mean, uh, I, I didn't buy this, you know. And it says nowhere, nowhere it says. Um, Corinthia, no way. It's just a copy. It doesn't even say for Reno. It's made. It's made for fraud. That's what I'm telling you. I mean, Reno is a brand. You know, they 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 should make. The guy is a frauder. You should get him off the market. You know, franchise. Hey, right? this is why we liberate you for. You know.
I, I, Grandpa, you died for nothing. I'm, I'm, you know, they think I'm just some foreigner immigrant, you know, or whatever. They can do whatever they want with me, like, you know. So I'm going to open it up. I need my two hands. I'm going to show you there's nowhere Corinthia. And there's the other one. There's the Corinthia. You see the material it shines differently. This one's shiny. And this one is not. So I open it up. And I wonder if the Chinese, if they, if maybe they did put the um, what's in it of Corinthia. So then the fraud is even worse. I'm going to send it to Corinthia as well. I'm going to tell you. Look. What does it say inside? It doesn't say anywhere like on the side here, Corinthia. No, what does it say? It says Ferrino. Bourrage PL. Well, that, that, that's certainly not the, the Corinthia stuff inside. And here, once more, it says Ferrino. From Italy, and here it even says in Italy, San Mauro, made in China. Oh, I wonder where the other one is being made. Anyway, this is Ferrino. Uh, they frauded me. They steal, they lie. Just, you know, to knock the money out of your pocket. Well, I mean, you paid for it. I, I don't have any money. So, some nice fans, you paid for this. And then, frankly, just in collaboration with the globalists in China and Italy, they just knock your money out of, out of your pocket, which was meant to keep me warm in the winter. And that, you know, in this society, it's only about money, 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 money. You see, it sounds different, you know, it's all, there you can see the two different colors of the two bags. Yeah, this is the little one, it has a different color. Yeah, it's a different, it's all Ferrino, Ferrino. Yeah. Fair Rhino, it's not even a South African Rhino, it's a Fair Rhino. I mean, if it would have been a South African Rhino, okay, but this is a Fair Rhino but not very fair at all right bunch of thieves this is cyber criminality cyber crime this is real cyber crime i mean the guy they're from two different sellers but from the same internet company naturo buy and um so I mean, this guy selling me the Ferrino bag, he's an expert. He knows what he's selling. You know, it's not an accident, but he knows he can say, oh, it's, it's an accident. I'm sorry. You know, I, I made a mistake. Like, no, 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 mate. You did not make a mistake because you are, the, the, you know your product, eh? It's not a mistake. It's not a perfect crime. I'm going to make sure for that, eh? You're not going to get away with your what you thought is a, the perfect crime. No way. So YouTube, you please leave it on. I'm doing nothing wrong here. I'm doing something good. So you leave my video on. Eh? No matter how much the Frenchies are going to push to take it off. No, 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 no. You stay on. I'm just... I'm reporting a crime here, cyber crime, for Rhino. So there is the internet company Natura Buy, where we ordered and paid the Austrian Corinthia Tropen High European Quality Sleeping Bag, where now, because of Homie Ross complaining, They've put a sold out bar over it. And there is the Chinese Italian 
Ferino design theft counterfeit the, uh, of the sly businessman and fraudster counter, counterfeiter uh, Gilles, uh, Christophe Gilles, 92 Rue Henri Pavard in 45140, Saint Jean de la Ruelle, near Orleans, has sent me instead and not being able to resist the temptation of earning an easy buck through fraud and deceit without working a single day for it and augmenting the already extremely high level of mistrust in France. What wonderful times nowadays with so many new possibilities of the anonymous digital world and from a safe distance to properly clean out someone he must have thought by himself. This is why there's hardly any hospitality in France and you'll find more hospitality on the moon because Frenchy always fears the alleged dishonesty of the other person. As we say in South Africa, in a Afrikaander saying, the innkeeper trusts his guests like he is himself. In this context, Germany is very different and far more open thus making the Germans way more dangerous for Pharaoh's elite and their authorities. Like as they say here, wer wind seht, wird Sturm ernten. He who sows the wind will harvest a storm. And they mean the authorities with this, of course. And in spite of the fact that Homie Ross was not part of these here, I got invited by them because there's far more hospitality even in Germany than there is in France. It's, uh, and, and this is my own experience, you know, because there's more trust amongst the people. And this is something the elite and our masters don't like at all when people get together and trust each other. In France, the main topic in any conversation it's always about being afraid of something, afraid of the government, that this and that acquaintance is dangerous and might bring harm, that you never know if he is dishonest, and so forth and so on. Really, the true rabbits of two world wars. And if I hear them gossip like that, I sort of always imagine the white pom-pom at the rear end of a hair rushing away. I just can't help it. Only when Frenchy steps in his Renault, Peugeot or, or Citroën car, he'll transform him and unfortunately also herself into a lethal beast risking the lives of pets, animals, pedestrians, cyclists and even children. The roads in France are literally littered with cadavers of all kinds. And France has the highest rate of mortal accidents of the entire European community due to this Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde duality complex in this absolutely horrifying instant transformation with 3,000 confirmed killed every year on French roads. A country where people don't dare to let their children ride a bicycle outside on the road. And in fact, you don't even see 
any children on bicycles in France, where children on bikes is literally non-existent. Here, the French newspaper Le Parisien, as you can see here on top right, they did a survey on the um, how dangerous it is, how dangerous it is on French roads because of the cars. And that this came out. It says here, toutes ces voitures ont refusé la priorité aux piétons. It says all the cars refused priority on to the pedestrians on a um, a pedestrian crossing as you can see here you know the guy is standing on it the car should stop but no car has stopped it says toutes ces voitures all the cars refuse the priority on the uh, pedestrians doesn't they don't care if it's a child or what and the government in france they don't do absolutely nothing because the car industry in France is extremely huge. You know, with they got three big car brands, at least, like Peugeot, Renault, Citroën. Uh, very fast cars sometimes. Um, but I mean, who cares? As long as Natura buy and their cybercrime associates can buy a new fast car on stolen money, all is good in France. I'm not angry with the Frenchies because of this sleeping bag scam, because I know there's a deeper reason behind this, and that through this mishap, I have to explain you something related to this scam. Here, read with me. This is by Lao Tzu. The best fighter is never angry. Let this suck in and think about this. And it's exactly how I feel. This scam is just a dumb thing that leads to distrust amongst an entire nation, thus laming an entire people, of which we've seen the result in France during two world wars, seeing only the white pompon rear end of the French bunnies, and which is not really because they're cowards, no, it is because there is no mutual trust. Like, why should I cover his six and sacrifice if the other won't do the same towards me? Cover your six is army slang and reference to a soldier's wrist watch being kept horizontally on the arm, with the 12 up front and the 6 behind towards the back. Here you can see Spitfire, and here it says 12 o'clock, it means ahead of the airplane, 3 o'clock here, it means to the right, 6 o'clock means behind, where the tail is here, and 9 o'clock means to the left. And also, like enemy at 11, meaning that the enemy's position is forward and slightly to the left, which is a Nazi Templar octagon invention using their Swiss Army watch, as all armies derive out of the Knights Templars and their hierarchy. And therefore, because of these Sodomite Knights Templars and all the actual pinkless killers everywhere, in their slang, cover my six has gotten a slightly more 
Ebrard meaning more into the direction of cover my triple six cover my six watch your six and because the Frenchies are so incredibly mistrustful with each other and towards others beforehand imprisoned by their shackles of mistrust weighing a ton of immobilization they will never be able to organize a real defense system or a general uprising against the enemy within since they don't trust each other and for an uprising or a real people's revolution by humanity there must be trust and total readiness for the ultimate sacrifice for one another and Frenchies are just not ready to sacrifice anything because it immediately runs through their minds why should I give something to others whom in the end will betray me anyway and so nothing will ever happen so in the end they will even trust the wrong ones as they don't trust each other and with pharaoh making sure and by forcing the slaves that they will only trust the system instead of each other and this is what i told you remember this here this saying by the cardinal and aristocrat jean-francois paul de gondi the most mistrustful are often the greatest dupes which means if you don't trust each other you will lose you're gonna be duped here yeah. so the cardinal and aristocrats he surely knew his flock and in this saying here he's talking of course about the french as he was french from italian descent but he was french he knew his flock he knew his slaves no i'm not angry because of the scam nor do i seek revenge to get even or get my money back because i relate and see the bigger picture where the problem lies which we have to solve together as a whole humanity gets more and more enslaved by pharaoh because there is no union and there is no union because of mutual mistrust and there's mutual mistrust you can read with me here from top to down so there is mutual mistrust because of no ethics no respect no moral code no honesty like cybercrime sleeping bag counterfeit scams and because there's no more integrity i'm used to take my losses in dignity and contemplation with a gentleman's understanding seizing the bigger picture that for example the french are pharaoh's first victim in europe 
with French becoming the nobility's language of pharaoh's aristocracy all over Europe. Who? Peasants. From the courts of England to the courts of Prussia and even the courts of Russia. Everywhere French was spoken by the nobility. Read with me. We would like to introduce this topic by saying that the period between 1200 and 1500 must be seen as a period of shifting emphasis upon the two languages spoken in England. The upper class continued to speak French, as they had done in the previous century. But the reasons were etc. They spoke French, the nobility. The French are the first victim of Pharaoh in Europe, with first of all Pharaoh Caesar and married to Pharaoness Cleopatra, did a huge genocide on the Celtic tribes of France by Pharaoh's Romans butchering men, women, and children. It was called the Gallic Wars. And here you can see the Celtic leader Vercingetorix, and this is Caesar and his gang of pharaohs. And here you can see Frenchy being imprisoned. So, of course, Frenchy got a little bit mistrustful. And then followed up afterwards on what was left of the proud Celtic tribes. Afterwards came a thousand years of total control feudal system by Pharaoh in his medieval castles, developing the French language as Pharaoh's new adopted language spoken at all the European courts of the nobility. So here you can see the white slaves doing sort of cotton picking, because the white race is a slave race. They have been slaves of Pharaoh for 2000 years now. The white race has no power whatsoever. And those who are white and who are ruling over the white race, they are the nobility and they do not come out of the Europeans, but from Egypt. So here, down here, you see the white European race doing the so-called cotton picking. Well, it's not cotton, but you know what I mean. They do the cotton picking in a total slavery feudal system for the masters here in the castles. Here are the slave masters. And here, a thousand years of slavery in a feudal system for the white race. So, I understand that after 2,000 years of pharaonic slavery over the Gaul and territory of France, the inhabitants of France have become incredibly mistrustful towards one another and having led to the typical French everyone for himself mentality without hospitality and augmented mistrust by all the little business scams frauding one's money out of one's pockets through lies and deceit as here in my case with the counterfeit sleeping bag wrecking the European economy through organized counterfeit design theft on top of it all. 
No, I'm not angry with the franchise for being ripped off, shaken down, and for their absolute lack of solidarity and hospitality. Because on the other side, they've left me in peace all these years. The French police have always been correct, polite, and friendly with me. And it's a gorgeous country with lots of nature, very high mountains, extended forests, beautiful lakes, a lot of green, and pict picturesque villages with a lot of history. No, I'm not angry, having been deceived, because on the other side, I've survived in peace in France over the last eight years. And the Frenchies are not aggressive, except when in their car. It's quite a safe country. They're very polite and charming. Only there's nothing you can do with the Frenchie because they're so damn mistrustful. So for me now, the Frenchies are just part of the countryside who don't really disturb me. And I don't even notice them anymore, really. Thank you, Pharaoh, for destroying all the tribes of the world and leaving soulless, traumatized, mistrustful slaves of once proud warrior tribes.